Why hello there, this is my first commentary video, let's get started. To start things off, you need an SD card or SDHC card with the homebrew channel already installed. If you do not, there is a link in the description to a video on how to install that. Once we have everything you need, insert your SD card into your computer. Go to the link in the description and click the download link for Revolution right here. Click download, open the zip folder, and, and then extract this to the apps folder onto your SD card right there. I have already done this be, just to save a little bit of time, and it should be right here. Right here, I have some other stuff on here, I don't know why. Next, we want to go to the link in the description for the Re Ocarina zip. This, this zip right here contains the files we need to hack, basically. So we download this, and then it should automatically download, open it, and then extract this to the root of your SD card. So, just extract it to this screen right here. And I have already done this. And, see? And this is all you should have. I don't know if codehandler.bin is in there. If it's not, that's okay. So, you have two right here. Codes and Ocarina. Well, it might be just Ocarina. I forget. It's been a while since I've done this. So, then, you want to make a folder in the root of your SD card named codes. This this is where you will put this file that we will get later in this tutorial. After you've made the codes folder in the root of your SD card, download the MKW Hackpack zip. The link will be available in the description below. The reason why we're going to download this custom track pack is so that we can use the my stuff folder to play custom tracks with. We aren't going to use the main pack because there is this anti-cheat thing built into it. Once we have everything downloaded and extracted, the root of the SD card should look like this, with the MKW Hackpack folder in the root, and then th these three files in the Revolution folder. Don't worry if you have to replace your code handler.bin. All of these files are the same. Next, go to the website named Gecko Codes. The link will be available in the description. People who live in North and South America go to the one that says RMCE01. For the people that are over in Japan or have a Japanese console, go to the one that says RMCJ01. And for the people in Europe, go to the one that says RMCP01. Then, click Add Codes. It should bring you to a different page that has a bunch of checks, and then you want to check the ones you want to have to hack. Like for example, Crazy Bullet Build. If I want a Crazy Bullet Build, I look at the note to make sure I have the right values in this, and then if I don't, I change it. After we have checked off all the codes we want, we want to click download GCT. Or, if you want the codes that I had in my video, you want to download this file named RMCE01 that is available in the description. Click download, and then put the file you downloaded in the codes folder right here. I forgot to add the PAL code in the NTSC J code. So, if you are PAL or NTSC J, you would go into the description and find the download link which should be under the NTSC U download link. Now that we have our codes in our SD card, we want to eject our SD card, put it back in our Wii so that we can test it to make sure it works. Once we have our SD card in Cyber Wii, we want to go to the Homebrew channel 
and then click on revolution it should be right there and then click load once it's loaded we want to go to the code handler click BI hook there's two of them and uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which one you do here's another one right there and then do enable launch and then just wait a few seconds for it to launch and now we want to test out if our codes work or not by just going into a quick time trial From here, we are going to see if our 300cc and, and infinite mushroom codes work. And looky looky, hey, it works. Now we are going to go back to, to our computer. Once we know everything is working, we want to find a custom track that we want to play 300cc on. So, if you go to the link in the description that's named wiki.talkdom, we are going to find a custom track that you want to play 300cc on. So, there's a bunch of custom tracks that have been made. And so, let's just click a random one, Culotto Mountain, then click download. Once it's downloaded, you want to show on the folder. Or, if it's a zip folder, you want to open the zip folder and find the file that is a Nintendo SDS file. You want to move this to the root of your SD card so you can get to it easier. And then, once it's there, you want to go to the website which has all the Mario Kart Wii file names. The link to this website is available in the description. And it's to forums.mkboards.com We want to go there and then it will show us a list of all the file names in Mario Kart Wii. We want to find the track that we want to put our custom track over. Copy the file. And then we want to go to the root of our SD card. Find the file. Re rename it. And then paste. If there's something like a dot there that just happened to me, take it out. And then now, with the newly named file, we want to go and put this into the MKW Hack Pack folder. And then we want to put that into the My Stuff folder. Make sure that, that the name of the SCS file that you just renamed is corresponding with the track you with the track you had the file for. So in my case, I will be playing Luigi Circuit. Well, we're all done. And now we just eject our SD card and put it back into our Wii. Now let's do the same process over again. Boot the homebrew channel, then go to Revolution. But we're going to be doing one extra step this time. Instead of just having BI hook and and codes enabled, we're gonna have just the my stuff enabled so that we can play our custom tracks. So go to page two and just enable my stuff and only the hack pack my stuff and then launch re revolution.
now if we go into Luigi Circuit, instead of Luigi Circuit playing, we should have a cusp track. And now, we should be playing custom track. Hopefully this whole video helped you, but if anything went wrong, please tell me in the comments below. Well, that's about it, and I'll see you guys later.